Hey guys, in this very short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can undock your tools and make them in the floating panel that you can place anywhere in your interface, even outside the Affinity Designer in the separate screen if you're using like multiple screen setup. All right, so here I am in the desktop version of Affinity Designer version 2.1 beta but it's very similar in any other version of the software. So as you may notice, all our tools are here on the left. If you want to learn more about them, keep in mind, I post a 20 minute long video about all of the tools from the tool panel. You can check that if you want, but today we're going to talk about how we can undock them. By default, they'll stick to this left side. Simply go up and search for view, menu here then at the very bottom you see that dock tools is turned on by default we can uncheck this and in that very moment your tools will be floating around you can move them around i can even move them out and now i can see them on the separate screen that you cannot see right now let's move them back all right so we got floating tools that can be really handy we can also adjust this tool panel here. So let's go back to view and customize tools, not toolbar. The toolbar is at the top. We're talking about tools today. All right. And now I can customize that. I can move around tools. I can even add this. This is not a line tool. This is simply to divide your tools. So for example, I can divide my tools here. I can move this down, this one up, and this way my shape building tools are here divided with this line. I can put one more here. Okay, move this out. This is not a shape building tool. All right, so I got my shapes, shape builder, and the very new bucket tool for making shapes over here. And also, as you can see, we can modify the number of columns we got here from one, that's the classic dog version, two, or even three or four, just like that. Then we can close it. And that's our new floating tool panel on the left. If you wanna go back to the default settings, you can always select view and turn on docking. So dock tools, that's on. But take a look, they are still in three different columns. Remember, that was a separate thing. So we can go to view and now we can customize tools. And from here we can modify how many columns do we need. Some people really like to work with two columns. That was like kind of default setup in 90s. So you can set it up here, even with dog toolbar. You can have two columns and you can add additional lines to divide your tools into groups. I hope this is helpful. This is your first time here. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. There are 99 tutorials about Avinity Designer right now. All right, guys. Thank you for today. And I will see you next time. Bye.